How do you feel about refugees coming to live here in Britain? I'm a long time traveling. Once it was the other way around. Two, three hundred years ago, ports like here in Bristol were filled with British refugees, people like Thomas Spears. He was a carpenter from Bristol. He signed up as a servant in America, but his indenture required that he might be bought or sold. And when he ran from this hardship in 1775, his master posted a reward. Now that master was none other than George Washington, the general, and also the slave owner. So he would have known a few people here in Bristol. Or Sarah Trapnell. In 1800, she stole a handkerchief. And for that petty crime, she was exiled to New South Wales in chains for seven years. She had to leave behind her husband, Tom, and her three young children. And she never saw Britain again. If you look at your own family, you're likely to find migration there somewhere. But history is reserved for the rich, the famous, and the male. How do we give voice to ordinary people like Sarah and Thomas? Well, music helps. Old folk song can open a window to the past. I'm a long time traveling here below, a long time Join me and Jeff Warner for our show, Human Cargo. In the run-up to Refugee Week this June, we're touring the country, telling tales of people who've left and people who've come. And wherever we perform, there'll be local stories and links with local refugee support groups. It's a great night of stories and songs. They won't make the history any prettier, but they may help you think afresh about refugees today. <laughs>